Hey friends, hope you all are doing well. Happy Sunday, February 4th. Um, thank you so much for clicking on the video. If you are new here, welcome. I hope if you enjoy all things planning and stationery, you will uh, stick around, give this video a like, and subscribe to my channel. We greatly appreciate that. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I wanted to jump on here and show a small haul and then just some updated pages um, in my personal rings. I did try to uh, film yesterday and I lost the film. I had done a little bit of setup uh, plan with me in the video. Unfortunately, I lost the video. I don't know what I did, but so we're just going to do a redo. If that interests you, I hope you grab a coffee or tea and uh, let's get started. So um, I'll go through some pages uh, here in a moment, but I first wanted to share a few things that I recently um, purchased. These are some, some sticker shops that I had mentioned before. Um, Sadie stickers. I like these triple dot accent stickers uh, and some others to, when I put flowers down on my pages, I like to accent the flowers with these little dots. So I picked these up. Um, in a couple colors. I did black, I did silver, I did rose gold, and then I did the um, large dot accent. A couple of those, I had not tried those before. So um, yeah, these are some really pretty ones just to kind of add a little bit more depth to your your pages. Again, that's Sad excuse me, sadiesstickers.com. This is a sheet of dentist appointment stickers that I ordered from GetSheetDoneStickers.com. These are super cute. Now this is from Tiny Birch Studio. And if you saw a video before that I did where I had shared one of these post-it notes, um, I had ordered a planner on eBay. And in the planner, a couple of these post-its um, the lady had included, and I thought they were so cute, I had to just go on the hunt to find them. And I ended up finding them on Etsy at Tiny Birch Studio, so I ordered a couple pads of those. And then I wanted to try her stickers, so I went ahead and ordered some days of the week and then some abbreviated month stickers um, to try out. So yeah, these are just so cute. These I have ordered before. I use these in my garden planner and my garden journal. Um, these are from Amazon and they're washi stickers and they're just all sorts of um, pretty garden stickers. Those. Really super cute. And that one. And when you order, you get two sets um, in the package. So, yeah, not a bad deal. And these are even pretty, I mean, even if it's for just regular planning, not necessarily a garden journal or garden planner. I had ordered from Pop Coffee Monsters Co. And I generally will place an order with Coffee Monsters Co. like maybe once a year. Um, this is her current freebie. I ordered a couple um, sets of her tabs. I ordered her YouTube and Instagram little icon stickers. I ordered her haircut emojis. I ordered a couple sheets of her manicure emojis. These are so cute. Um, this is a couple dinner date. Ordered a couple of those. This is her laundry emojis. This is family eating emoji, or excuse me, emoji sheet. This is another um, YouTube. This is some larger emojis. Winter planning. I ordered a couple of these balloon sheets. 
um, her cleaning emojis, a couple of her grocery shopping emojis. Um, this is a different planning routine emoji. And these are as well. Fall planning desk, rainy day, lovely planning desk. These are really cute. These are just kind of um, super cute. I wanted to try her washi strip sets. So I ordered a couple and some, kind of like some garden themes. And then this is a fall pumpkin pie and coffee. And then I ordered her sampler, Emoti Head Mega Sampler. I thought that was super cute. So that is my Coffee Monsters Co. And I wanted to tell you about this YouTube channel. The um, lady's name is Michelle Lowe. And her YouTube channel is kind of like zone cleaning, home management, and things like that. And if you go to her video or her YouTube channel and you email her, she will send you a copy of her weekly schedule on a PDF, and she'll also send you a blank one. So if you're into like cleaning schedules, zone cleaning, um, she is a really, really nice channel. I've watched quite a few of her videos over the last week, and um, I wanted to set something up myself in my planner and... Um, this was just a really nice example of what she uses and not necessarily to, to use this specifically, but just to get some great ideas. So again, it's the YouTube channel, Michelle Lowe. I also ordered a three set, a three piece set of these little clear binders on Amazon. Um, the three set comes in the pink, yellow, and purple. And what I use these for is to archive my inserts for my ring planner. And I use a combination, a lot of times, of Franklin Covey Compact um, and Personal Rings. And this cover will house both. So whether you use Personal Rings or Franklin Covey Compact, um, you can actually use these to archive your pages. I archive my dailies at the end of each month. Um, I always keep my full year of monthlies and full year of weeklies in my planner for the whole year. So... Um, so yeah, those are those are nice, inexpensive way to archive your ring, you know, your ring pages. Um, I have switched covers for this week. This week I'm in my um, Malden Stone. I actually um, changed the rings out to Moterm 30 millimeter. I knew I would never sell this cover, so I did not mind. Um, punching through the leather to add the Moterm rings. Um, and I love it. I love having the 30 millimeter in the Moterm, or excuse me, in the um, in the Filofax Malden. It's just, I love the planner and the strap does um, really have plenty of space for 30, 30 uh, millimeter rings and to stuff it. So yeah. So I'm also using this as my wallet. So I have some of my, my cards here. And um, I, I've gone through many times um, the freebies. You know, a lot of them are from Plan With B. Um, but if you have any questions on anything that you see, you know, any of the inserts that you see today, just leave me a comment and I'll see if I can find you a link. I seem to be link challenged. I don't know if I have to jump through some special hoops in order to link things on YouTube. Maybe some of you who have a channel can steer me in the right direction. Um, yeah, so this top dashboard, I just put down a couple of the Today's Agenda post-its and my monthly calendar card. This um, acetate is actually from, I think, Hobby Lobby. Just a floral um, acetate, real pretty, and silver. Um, I have added in my tabs, which these actually originally were Franklin Covey Compact set of tabs. I cut them down to personal size and um, 
pop those in here. I have the first one as my inbox. And I keep that for my brain dump, my to-do list and search, which I like to use not only for a to-do list, but for my grocery um, list. So I just have some extras in here of that. I have my ba my brain dump um, from Haru Design, or excuse me, Haru Plans. It's just a must want, maybe other and to-do list. So I have a few of those in here. I have my spoke to log. I have my task reminders. And then I have my monthlies. And um, of course I have my year to glance from Plan With B and my holidays. I have the yearly bundle from Peanuts Planner Co. And this particular one is the yearly and then it has your quarterly. I've not decided what I'm gonna use this quarterly for yet. I know we're in February already, but um, whatever my decision is on these pages, I will just have to go back and add for January. Um, yeah, so that, that bundle actually comes with a few different options. Um, this is the free um, download from Peanuts Planner Co. for her monthlies. So I just took those and I decorated them with my stickers, which is from a seasonal floral um, from Hobby Lobby. And my weekly is from Planner Room Shop. And I went ahead and set up next uh, the next two weeks because it's a week on one page. So when I have this view open, I like to have um, everything set up for both weeks. So I just added some stickers. Um, I need to go back and add the rest of my appointments in here for the next two weeks. But I got those set up. The next section is my dailies. I did um, download, I think I printed this in maybe a B6 from Sterling Ink and I just cut it down to personal. That's her freebie uh, monthly calendar. My dailies, I'll show you. Um, so this is actually next Wednesday, but my dailies are from Roro Designs. They are very clean, minimal, uh, day on two pages. I love these. I put the task, my tasks for the day here, down here. I keep track of um, my meals, my steps, snacks. Um, <clears throat> I also use my date stickers, which I get from, just show you the card, Upward Journals on Etsy. You can buy them in sheets for the month, it has the day, the month, and the date. And I actually have those in cursive and print because I use them in two different planners. So I put that up here and then I also add in my weather forecast um, when I set up the week ahead. And I generally will do this on Sundays. I actually did this last night. I did it a little bit um, early, which I guess it worked out because I hadn't had this done when I filmed yesterday and then lost the film. So today I'm able to include it. So yeah, I will just set up Monday through Sunday for the next week. And um, yeah, so my next session is my tracker. This tracker is from Marcia Bermucci. It is the monthly tracker on two pages. I do track a lot of things, um, personal, uh, Bible study, gratitude, um, some of my garden tasks, regular house tasks. Um, I like to keep track of when I'm cooking dinner, when we go out, when we have leftovers. Um, keep track of when um, I'm filming for YouTube when I publish and, um, and then some garden work so yeah I like that month on two page tracker from Marcia Bermucci uh, next is my list I have a subscription list I just keep track of anything that I subscribe to on a monthly basis this is your add to planner insert from plan with B I have a couple different cleaning, um, kind of like cleaning checklist or cleaning plan inserts. This one is from Phoenix Printable on Etsy. And um, I've had this one for quite a long time. And I'm not really sure that I totally like the setup of this one. Um, and I found this new one here from uh, the Planner Spot. 
I like it because it's basically um, a routine on two pages. So you have your daily, your weekly, your monthly, and on the back side is your different zones. So if you wanted to set up certain zones on certain days, um, you could just write zone two on Wednesday, pop over here and go, okay, what am I doing on zone two? Eventually, obviously, this becomes just habit, you know, not even necessarily something you have to track. But if you're kind of getting started in zone cleaning or cleaning schedules, um, I think this would help to kind of test different um, routines each week to see what works best for you. So I'm going to try that one. I'm going to be setting that up tonight for this coming week. See how I like that. Today, I am going to be filling out my inventory inserts, which I really wanted to get done by the end of January, and it didn't happen. But my main thing is um, not necessarily the refrigerator inventory, but my freezers and my pantry inventory is really where I want to make sure that I know what I have um, and I'm purchasing appropriately when I go to the store. I do tend to um, prepare for, you know, any issues in the future. So I like to stock up on certain things. Um, but sometimes I can go a little bit overboard. So I like to um, keep track of what I've, what I've got. I think that'll work better for um, future planning. Um, this I have a gift list insert from the planner spot. This is just a vellum that I printed out. I got this image on Pinterest and I put down a couple of Tyrion Design post-its. Um, this is a, a shop coupon codes insert and it doesn't have a name on it. I'm sorry, it's so old. I don't remember where I got it. Most of these um, shop coupon codes have expired. Um, the only ones that are actually still accurate are the ones from Robin at Talks from the Heart. Um, and maybe Anna Jolene's, but um, yeah, I really need to print a new one. Um, coupon codes insert and, and update that. And this little um, planner card I punched and put in here and it's from Yellow Paper House. My note section is just, um, I printed lined paper. I print everything on Tomo River paper, so I just printed some lined paper to put in there. This is my finance section and really it's basically spending and expense tracker, order tracker, etc. It's called the budget excuse me, budget management insert from um, Marcia Bermucci on Etsy. And I'll show you, like this is March and April. So you get January through December um, in, in the insert bundle, but then you also get the empty. So if you need a couple pages for a month, you can just add a blank one in, write the month name at the top, um, you could be to use use this for a business, a small business, and may need more than one sheet for for expenses and so forth. Um, so yeah, that bundle comes with uh, January through December, and then also blank pages. Um, and my personal, I just keep basically my um, travel inserts, so packing guide, travel overview, and packing list from Plan with B. In my YouTube section, I just keep um, some inserts from Perfective Paper. It's a social media calendar um, that I use in here. I just like to put down a sticker of when I post a video, and then I down here I basically keep track of um, subscriber count as time goes by. I just like to see, you know, um, if there's a certain video that maybe added additional subscribers, and yeah, keep track of that down here. And in the back, I actually have an insert from Paper Test Design, and it's January through December, um, one line per day, and I will just put the title of the, of the video that I upload on that particular day. Um, this section is for our small business. I do... Um, do all the book work for our small business. So I have this five year insert from Anthology Notes, 2023 through 2027. You will get um, all of the years at a, at a glance. And then for each of those five years, you will get um, four months on two pages. So it looks like this. So what I do with these is I basically will write out my responsibilities for the month 
you know, whether it's bank reconciliation, credit card reconciliation, you know, tax information, um, whatever that might be. If I need to leave myself, you know, a note for something for the accountant or something for the state that I need to send in, um, you know, then I can check off my tasks as I go. So this is just basically, I mean, it's literally five years worth of my responsibilities in this thin little section of my planner. So for me, for my work for our business, this is just really a no-brainer. The next section is my um, health medical. Um, basically, what I keep in here is this insert from Plan With B, medical information. Um, you know, if you're out and about and, you know, there's some kind of medical incident, you know, it's good to have this in here. So if you have allergies, current medications, your doctor's phone number, I like to keep that updated. And then um, this is your doctor's visit insert. And this one is from Haru Plans. Now, I do have some different inserts in Franklin Covey Compact. And I also keep those up to date because sometimes I will do a mix of personal and Franklin Covey Compact. Sometimes I do all Franklin Covey Compact. So I really have both sizes that are really continually updated um, depending on what planner or what planner cover I want to use. It's a little bit, obviously, of duplicate work, but... Um, but I'm okay with that. So this is a mood tracker and it's basically like a year in pixels, January through December, and you can put your key codes over here. Um, I've had this for a very long time and I don't even know what store I got it from. Um, and honestly, I have not used it. So I'm not sure if I will ever use that or if I will just take it out. Back here, I have some Cat Espresso Co. inserts. This is a three-pocket insert where I just keep some baby post-it notes. Um, I keep my next couple months of my calendar cards from Plan With B in here. I have my planner size guide and planner size conversion chart from Laura Jane Plans. I just um, laminated that, and I keep that readily available because sometimes I have A5 or B6 Slim or you know, letter size PDFs that I want to um, downsize in my printing. So this is an excellent resource to have. Um, I have some page tabs. I have some dot stickers from Boulder Bond. And this one is a two pocket insert and I keep my um, printed post-it notes in here from Plan With B. These particular ones I've just printed on um, regular printer paper and I will just attach them to a sheet with either a Ollie clip or a little piece of washi tape. So it's the floral today appointment and this week. Really, really, really like um, her post-its. Um, this is just um, another insert where I keep a little bit of cash, some gift cards and some large post-it notes, and I believe these are from Target. Um, family pictures from my daughter's wedding last year. And then I have a card um, in case insert from Franklin Covey here, where I just keep extra cards. And then my page lifter. And back here I have added um, the Maldens, if you're not familiar, have this pocket in the back. And I have some Planner Perfect notepads in her B6 Slim size and her personal size and it actually was a perfect fit so I went ahead and added that in the back and this pen if you're familiar with Malden's you know that very few pens will fit in this pen loop um, this particular pen I just keep in there for on the go it's a friction pen um, which is an erasable ink pen and then your eraser up here so keep that in there and yeah that is everything that is everything with this week's um, pages coming up. And um, for my personal rings in my Malden, I have also updated and added um, decor for my journal. Now, I had originally going was going to start out with a B6 um, or a style planner for my journaling. But um, I had originally purchased two of those in 2021. And I remembered once I started using the B6 for my journaling, 
what I did not like about that planner. I love the setup. I love the design of the planner, but I don't know if that planner has like a coating on its Tumble River paper or what, but I don't like the way the ink goes onto the paper. And it just was getting, getting on my nerves. And I said, I'm, I'm just, I'm just not going to deal with that. I will probably use that planner to cut up to personal or Franklin Covey compact size paper for just scribble notes in my ring planner um, because I will not use that for journaling or planning in the future. So I picked up an A5 Stalogy. I love the Stalogy paper. I cut it down to a standard and I put it in my year of record traveler's notebook. Um, I have my beautiful uh, bookmark from Mel at Everything Marmy that came with my um, Happy Meal when I won a contest that she had. Um, I went ahead and I just put down some um, washi tape for the days next week. Added a few stickers. Yeah, and I actually did it through Monday the 12th. So that is what I used that for. My Sterling Ink monthly booklet. Um, again, I use these for a year of records. So regardless of if I archive my ring planner inserts or not, I do have bound book year of record. So my monthly booklet, I use my Sterling Ink um, sticker subscri subscription kit, excuse me, to decorate for February. And I also use the majority of that subscription kit to decorate for um, my Sterling Ink week size um, common planner full year. I use this as my, um, basically my faith binder, my prayers, gratitude, my daily soap study. So I do um, decorate all the sections in this and I do have a video on my channel with this particular planner if you are interested in watching that. And then I have the two booklet set of the Vertical Weeklies from um, Sterling Inc. I had originally bought these last fall when my intention was to do everything Traveler's Notebook for 2024. Um, I, I don't know if that's going to happen or not because I'm, I, I'm always brought back to my rings for the customization. So what I've been doing is keeping up with my weekly um, with just basically appointments and events um, in the event that I do decide to go just full on Traveler's Notebook for the rest of the year. Um, but either way, I will have this as, you know, as a year of record and, um, and I will keep it in this Traveler's Notebook. So I just went ahead and I put down some washi tape for next week. And then I'll do that just each week. My tabs that you see here, in case you didn't see a previous video, are from Aura Estelle. I love her low profile tabs. I actually have some more on order. So that is my traveler's notebook. My other, um, this is a pocket moleskin daily I have in this hand stitch leather tee. I use this as my garden journal. I just journal each day after I started um, my initial seed planting for 2024. Um, I started this, this journal. I have just tipped in some floral, um, uh, floral printable that I did from Plan with B, and I used my. Um, it's the same. Um, let me see if I can show you. I know I have a couple of those. I don't know what I did with it, but it is a sticker book. from Agenda 52, and it's called Seasonal Floral. Um, I bought a couple of those pads this year to decorate some of my monthlies. But um, yeah, I added in some. This vellum, this really pretty floral vellum, is very old. It is from Stampin' Up! And I have a pad of like um, um, about the middle of the month to turn it into my garden journal. And I'm just kind of taking notes each day of my seedlings, how things are going in my greenhouse. Um, I will take a picture maybe once a week of, you know, the progress of my seed trays. And I'll talk about temperatures and, 
you know, I have a miniature heater in there as well. Um, yeah, so I just add pictures each week of progress. I do have a full-on garden planner um, that I have shared in another video, but this is just a little daily documenting journal for 2024, my garden experience. This is my second year gardening. Last year I had a very small greenhouse um, and I used containers for my gardening. That's all I did in, in my verticals, my green stock verticals. Um, this year I have a new greenhouse and then my husband built me um, these raised bed gardens and this trellis. Um, yeah, which I am loving. So I set up the pages for next week with some of my garden stickers. Just fun, just to keep notes so I can look back next year when I start out my season. Um, just say, okay, what did I do this week? You know, how was my progress compared to last year? So this will be a really good resource for next year's planting. And I love this hand-stitched leather tee, I really do. All right, I think that is it. Thank you so much. If you're if you're still with me, thank you so much for hanging around. I appreciate it. Again, please give this video a like. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, I hope you would do so. It really helps my channel to grow. If you like all things planning and stationery and even a little touch of gardening. So I hope you all have a great Sunday. God bless.